I went to SeaWorld San Diego on August 14th because I was very worried about Corky. I wanted to see with my own eyes that she was okay. And once I got to her in the performance tank, she did everything she possibly could to show me she knew she knew I was there, she knew why I was there, and she wanted to put my mind at ease that she was all right. That's why I got all the tail slaps from her to show me the lower half of her body was all right. She waved with her tail. She swam in front of me to greet me. Um, she swam, you know, to my left and gave me a tail slap right in front of me to, to let me see her, her tail. She even went underneath and uh, went belly up. So I could see her entire body um, belly up the entire length to the tip of her tail. She wanted me to know that she was okay. And she is okay. And we were ecstatic to see each other again, very happy. Um, but it was also serious because she did get attacked. My blunder uh, was with Makani. The last time I was there 15 months ago, Makani... His dorsal was straight up and down, and he was a lot smaller. He has grown, and he's almost 10 now, and his dorsal has started to lean. So, I, you know, <laughs> I thought he was Shuka, the only one with the leaning dorsal. Um, but it didn't put a damper on him recognizing me, him being happy to see me. Um, and also, there were... Um, after we had our connection and he, <laughs> he said goodbye to me, uh, six orcas came into the tank. I didn't get any video of that except for them coming in um, because I wanted to save my battery. Um, but every uh, six of the eight orcas were in that performance tank with Corky who was there the entire time. The only two that were never in the performance tank were Ulysses and Kalia. So you can come to your own conclusions from that. The orca that I am the most worry about, worried about at this point is Ike. That guy is a mess. I'm just throwing this out there. I don't even care anymore. He's got a uh, dorsal as flat as a pancake. He never moved. He did the greatest Keat impression I've ever seen. So I hope people are watching him on the inside of SeaWorld and keeping an eye on him on the outside of SeaWorld. And then I wanted to save my battery for the dolphins. So I go to the dolphins because I was there right at the opening at 10 a.m. And even though all the other mammals and animals don't start putting on shows till later, from the moment that place opens at 10 a.m., the dolphins go to work. And they never stop working until the place closes. And the first thing that they do to entertain these people that go there to see them is this. Um, they do, you know, pop up their heads, say hi to them, and then do these twirly things in front of this friggin' display window. And swim upside down. And they're drugged. I mean, you know... Look at the eyes of these dolphins. They're completely drugged. Because at 12.30, they got to start swimming with people and with kids. They need to be drugged to do that. It's 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 horrifying. I, I spent less than 10 minutes there. I was already in tears. I had to leave. So we left at 10, 10 minutes to noon, which was perfect because that's when the ocean of people started coming in there. And it was just insanity. So even though SeaWorld San Diego will never tell you that Corky was the one who was attacked, I will, um, from the inside uh, SeaWorld San Diego, even on the outside, the only person I have read about being willing to say, you know, that this was Corky and her attacker was likely Kalia is Dr. Naomi Rhodes. And good for her. You know, but SeaWorld never, SeaWorld never will. And there's plenty of people that know how to ID these orcas much better 
than I can. My eyesight's for crap. But look, Corky didn't get her tail bit off. She didn't have big chunks of her body ripped out of her. You know, it was a minor attack, but it was still an attack right there at the dine with tank. And it put a lot of blood in the dine with tank pool enough to scare kids, have kids scream, have kids cry. Nobody needs this crap anymore. And they shouldn't be there. Now, some of these orcas do have tight bonds, tight bonds with, you know, a couple or three of the other orcas in there. But they are not a pod. They are not a family. They need to get out of there. But I don't know how to get that done. And I just hope everybody starts educating their children that captivity is not okay. And, you know, slowly over time, this will just all end. Thank you.